Welcome to Cooking with Oi Oi Soy Boy, with me, Oi Oi Soy Boy, also called Callum. Now, when I was growing up in the 1990s as a young vegetarian boy, I used to watch all the other children eat a lot of nice food at the school dinner table, which I couldn't eat. One of the ones which always looked the most tasty to me was a cottage pie. Now, I have since had cottages pies, but I wanted to make one today because I was thinking, hey, cottage pie is good. So that's what I'm gonna make. So with that being said, let's get cooking. All right, first things first, we're gonna get the green lentils and we're gonna put them in some water and put them on the stove. We're doing this first, because usually with dry green lentils, they take a while to boil. Obviously, if you're using canned green lentils, you don't need to do this stage. All right, now we're gonna grill ourselves another pot and we're gonna fill it with tomatoes. Just any old tomatoes will do as long as you can boil them up and mash them good. Just pour them in, some hot water, I ain't gonna teach you how to boil a tomato. Great. Okay, now we need a couple of brown onion boys. Chop them up real good like into thin strips and then we're gonna pop them in a pan or a bowl. We're not gonna be cooking these yet, just get them off your chopping bowl because we got a lot more to get chopped. Next, grab your mushrooms, or as they say in France, champions, and chop them nice and thin. You don't want too thin, you want them to be a little bit meaty. Um, and just do that for all of them and we're gonna add them to that pan as well again. Pan is not on heat yet, there's nothing in it, just put get him off the chomping board. And last but not least for this bit, just smash up your garlic. Smash it all up so you can get each little delicious tasty garlicky piece. Crunch, crunch, crunch. And then once it's all peeled, we're gonna chop this up as well. Okay, so now it's got no skin, we'll chomp it all up and then quite simply add that to the same pan, okay? All right, now that's all in the pan, we can get ready to actually cook it. So we're gonna grab ourselves some olive oil um, and just put it on sort of a, a medium heat, 5 out of 10 or so, and just get the mushrooms and then the uh, onions all sort of browned and cooked. In the meantime, whilst that's heating, we'll just chomp up some carrots as well. I've gone for a couple of big size ones. What we, I chop them into little half circles because I don't want them to be too big, but I don't want them to be too small as well, so it's a difficult game. Well, now we got to check on the lentils. As you can see, I picked up one lentil and it's split in three bits, so that means it's all done now. Okay. Um, oh, let's see what's going on outside. It's raining quite a lot, um, but as you can see, I've actually been doing some gardening. So that's my mint, and I've trimmed him. Um, in this bucket, I've got wild rocket. In this bucket, I got chives. And in this bucket, we got one of them brumpkins, the big orange ones. We got some thyme and strawberry. And then finally, we got my Christmas tree. Nice. Okay, now these are browned a bit, just add a bit of balsamic vinegar. Uh, some rosemary and then we're also gonna add just mixed herbs if you got them just to give it a bit more flavor Give that all a quick stir um, Just a little bit add yourself a pinch of salt uh, If you got some pepper, I'd recommend that as well. Just uh, use black pepper for mine um, Add a bit of pepper now. We're gonna get the lentils even with the bit of water in the bottom Just chuck them all in just throw the whole thing in the same pan um, And then give it another quick stir. We're gonna add one stonk cube and a couple of bay leaves. Uh, this is because it's kind of inside of a cottage pie, it's kind of like gravy, so I'm making a similar thing. Now I'm gonna be using some Marmite or yeast extract. If you can't get hold of this, then feel free to use some like amino acid or soy sauce, something with a bit of umami flavor, a bit of umami. All right, now add to that some brown onion gravy granules. That's right, the real cheap, nasty stuff. I know this seems like a fancy cottage pie, but it ain't. Cottage pie is what I saw boys and girls eat when I was at school for their school lunches, and it sure wasn't fancy then, so I sure as heck ain't making it fancy now. Great, now we're going to add in the carrots and some frozen small green peas. The reason we're adding these in a bit later is because we don't want to overcook the carrots and make them all soggy, we want them to have a bit of crunch. Just stir them around on maybe a 3 out of 10 heat just to cook them up a bit, and in the meantime let's check whether the bonetos is cooked. They're looking pretty soft to me, so let's get these mashed. We're going to throw in some vegan butter and we're going to throw in some milk. The reason being is that all the uh, fat and flavor is in this mash because we don't have much fat in the filling so we got to make it nice and tasty. Mash it on up and then as a treat we're going to throw in some nutritional yeast to make it nice and cheesy match. Great. Just keep on stirring. I keep the peels in as you can see which is good. Um, nice and vitamin-y. In the meantime Whilst that match is remaining still match, pour everything into your pan. Oh, match.
match. Great. So now that's all done, we're just going to get the match potato and we're just going to spread it on top. There's not really a skill or talent to this. I used my hands a lot and I cheated. Great. Throw that in the oven and then walk on over to your freezer. You'll notice in the second drawer down is a small bottle of beer. This is an amber beer that we made uh, quite recently and it's ready this weekend. So crack that on open and pour it on into the glass. As you can see, you're going to need to pour it slowly because the bottom of the beer is going to have some sediment in it because it's a homemade beer and I'm not good at making it. Mmm, good beer. Delicious. Now it's been about 20 to 30 minutes in the oven. Take out your pie. As you can see, it's all ready because it's all brown and slimy around the edges and bubbling. If you want an authentic school dinner experience, leave it in the oven for another 30 minutes or so, so it's all dried out. But for now, I'm going to tuck straight in. Mmm, this looks so good. It's all cooked and nice. So, now that I've got that served, I'm just going to quite simply grab a knife and fork and chow down on this. Alright, well thank you for watching. I hope you have a lovely day and, uh, and thank you for watching again.